Creatures, thank you for coming back to another reading of mine. Um, if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Stevie, and I read cards, and pretty pictures, and stuff. Um, talk to ghosts, whatever. Uh, let's see what your your guides, the universe, have to say today. Ooh, ooh, there's a camera. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Ooh. That's a tough one. Triggers are, like, you can be doing so well and have, like, one trigger that's unhealed and, like, everything falls to shit because you're just, like, again, not healed in this one area of your life. It is so important to, like, even if things, like, irk you, just be like, why does that bother me so much? What is it about that that literally drives me so insane that I can't, I can't, uh, you know, keep my cool or I, I'm showing up differently or whatever it is for you, but find like ask yourself those things those are like when you do shadow work you don't have to dive deep and like i i very much encourage that you don't tr like they, you, there's you can't just like go into shadow work and like self-healing and be like i'm gonna just do it until it's done because like you it's a forever process you do chunks at a time because like it is overwhelming and you also want to allow yourself to see the process and growth that you're like that's happening during all of this healing, all the shadow work. So it's like, you need to like do a little bit, go back to your regular happy self, see how much you've grown, see if test those triggers, definitely test those triggers because you don't want to be in a situation where like something happens and you're like, maybe I'm not healed. <laughs> maybe I'm about to kill a bitch. Um, but like, oh yeah, okay. Sorry, I was just looking at the next card. So we have um, boundaries, boundaries here and soul work. So again, like, these very much tie into each other and it's so funny because like when i first saw soul work i actually saw um i thought it said soul family because like when you think of bees you think of like a hive and a nest i thought that it could be like people who are really important to you that are causing these triggers and that's why you need to put your boundaries up and maybe that is what it is for you like if that resonates like take that but i do feel like it just kind of re resonates like in all areas like again proper boundaries are important walls are not something we want to put up but boundaries are something that like every healthy person has and you really should have that like you like encourage all of your loved ones to also have boundaries because we want um and, like maybe like I'll talk about how like I envision my boundaries like I actually like see them up like as like a guard around my aura and my energy but it's like definitely something from Stark Industries and it's like this diamond grid of purple electricity and it opens for good things and opportunities and when things that are not for me or like bad energy or just like not something that like again uh, my boundaries are up against they shrink and and kind of like repel back return to cinder kind of thing um so maybe that um is something you should do try that visualization but again it opens for good things and opportunities um and the this 313 on the clock for anyone who cares <laughs> but um I feel like yeah maybe just like maybe try visualizing your boundaries and like saying what they are out loud cast a circle that's so funny healthy boundaries are crucial for growth that's so funny we have two boundary cards now um can we all agree here anyone watching this video and, and that's myself included because like I I definitely feel like I learned a little from from every video I make <laughs> there's a message for me here too but um, boundaries are important and they don't make you a bad person in any way or like a like it's a mean person or it people will value you more when you value yourself Ooh, that hit um, I hope that hit for anybody else that heard that but people will value value you more the more you value yourself um, the people who needed to hear that that'll make sense too uh, that's so funny again we have <laughs> Cersei's love and mother yourself um yeah because when we value and love ourselves that it sets the bar for other people what we allow into our life I think that's a great message but again um don't try to do all your shadow work at once because a that's not possible you're going to be doing that your entire life so like give yourself a couple breaks um and and just like find these triggers just like ask again ask yourself when something bothers you or like say you okay this is a great example actually because like it's something i feel like everybody experiences you're in traffic somebody cuts you off 
um, you, you knew they were going to cut you off. Like you, you were paying attention. You were aware of the road. You left them room to kind of get over, but they still did it. And they like didn't signal whatever it was, but you, it still aggravates you. You take that energy with you. Like that's your energy leaking out all over the place. Like that's a trigger. So it's like, ask yourself, why did that bother you so much? Um, what about that is, is it that, um, that you can't get past, you can't let go because of that insignificant little part of your day because again we can have um it's so funny i feel like i should stop talking and then shuffle because they're just like coming out as to my message but i'm gonna flip all these over so i can keep talking and we'll go through them in a minute Put them in there. um it's like we choose what kind of day we have right it's like if i wake up and tell myself i'm gonna, I'm gonna have a good day i'm gonna have a good day and that doesn't mean bad things don't happen throughout that day it means that i don't i'm not gonna let it ruin my day i'm gonna let myself feel those emotions let move through them because like blocking them out pretending i don't have them that's not healthy either we're not about toxic positivity here um but moving through them and understanding that like sometimes bad things happen and i'm gonna have to deal with it anyway so there's no point in letting that ruin my entire day for something that's like a gravity problem, right? And I'm not gonna get mad at gravity. So the cards we have are the Two of Swords, the Devil, the Sun, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like, I feel like you keep making choices. It's like the devil, um, it's like in tarot, right? The devil wants you to believe that all, all you see is all there is. Um, but that's a lie, right? There's so much more than what we see. Um, there's spirit, there's like otherworldly things, that the different dimensions. Not only is it just like talking about like in our worldly positions, just like all you have in front of you is all that you have available to you. That's not true. That's the devil mentality, right? We have to really see through to the light of a situation maybe it's a silver lining in some and find like ways to celebrate otherwise we'll feel hmm and sense of lack now how do we turn that to the boundaries i feel like again you're making so with the two of swords the devil is on three cups five three ugh, five of pentacles i feel like you keep making decisions because you don't have these boundaries up and maybe like fomo is a trigger for you like fear of missing out um but you're making decisions that leave you like that it's like you're convinced this is the right decision that you're going to be happy but you end up feeling like left out in the cold kind of thing like you're a visitor in your own home throwing this party but like learning to be comfortable oh maybe that's all what it is like soul work love and mother yourself it's like being comfortable in your own energy and your own power um sitting with your triggers maybe this is like an invitation to start the shadow work that we've been talking about maybe it's not about like falling deep in, it's it's maybe that you've not done any um you don't have any boundaries because again you don't know how to put them up for yourself so you keep falling in these these patterns is there any advice on how to um the viewer can start this thank you very much the knight of swords the eight of wands and then two of cups yeah just to to start ask yourself like fast one of the fastest moving energies right the knight of swords and the eight of wands very fast moving energies just start ask yourself those hard questions but also be compassionate and gentle with yourself too because like again how you love and value yourself sets the bar for other people you want to make sure that bar is very high because you're a precious little being of joy and i love you but i i truly believe that if you take the time to, to learn and like live with these triggers to put up these boundaries healthy boundaries are cru crucial for growth you know that's really beautiful some some incredible things are going to come in out of that but please be compassionate about yourself during and lastly the ace of swords there's going to be something really beautiful like almost like an epiphany whether it's about yourself and who you are or just like about like life in general and how you deserve more than what you've been like currently allowing yourself that's going to come out of this oh and on the bottom of the deck is the world um yeah you're completing a cycle so allow yourself this time to almost like re like reintroduce yourself to yourself because you've gone through a, a large cycle here you're kind of closing things up i feel like that's where like these healings of these triggers are now needed because like you're you're so close to being completed 
and being happy like again this this sort of like healing leveling up glow up kind of energy so i hope that resonates i love your guts and gross bits cheers to your success